Hi, this is Lars Hoglo, H-M-L-A-R-S-H-O-G-L-O. I started filmmaking back uh, two years ago, I think. I was trying to find a class to take, so I took video production with my, uh, my good friend Steven Spanos. I was trying back then, you know. But then next year, I figured out my zen, you know. Like, you know how artists have a style? I figured out my style was to make bad movies. Like, I don't know, I'm a big fan of Tommy Wiseau, Hobo with a Shotgun, that's a great movie, oh my god. It's, it's, a, it's the riveting tale about a, a man who just wants to buy a lawnmower, but the world doesn't get, let him have it. Pleasantville, that had Tobey Maguire in it. Now, Tobey Maguire, he is a guy. I like him. I actually have a few movies I want to make. I want to do a film adaptation of the hit trading card game Magic the Gathering. Bad movies, that's my style. I made classics like the D'Lo Loaves, like The Great Jaxby, Coolest Kid in School, and my, my, my second movie wasn't that, like, it was, it was my worst movie, but it wasn't even bad in like, a good way. It had Benzie in it, um, but The Substitute loved it. Mr. Shout out to you. The staple movie in my collection, The Coolest Kid in School. John was there, and John said, the line, he's the coolest kid in school, it stuck, I made a movie about it, it was a horror movie, good movie. Dilo got really mad about this one. She said to me, if I find out that Jack does not like this, you're in trouble, you're dead. Otherwise, people loved it, people were laughing. Actually, no, when it was being played in the class, only like me and my friends were laughing at it. Everyone else was like, what the f is this? Good. Now, my next movie, Pizza, whatever, I don't even remember the name of it, that's how bad it was. Untouched, that was the name of it. It changed the story about Jack's character, basically it said he was like the coolest kid, and he was able to like, control things. Point is, uh, but afterwards, my, my magnum opus, actually my documentary unit was on Stretch Chan, pretty bad, just, it was just something I made last minute. And my greatest movie, my magnum opus, The Great Jacksby. I had one day to make it, because I, I procrastinated, it was a riveting tale about the end of the world. I basically got a camera, had my good friend Dan act as a character. After he said the world was gonna end, I just asked people, how do you feel about the world ending? And we got classic reactions like Anthony Lobalbo saying he would be alright with it as long as he, like, it was, it'd be cool. Uh, actually, no, it would suck, but overall, best movie. You guys should watch it. Uh, Deal, you should probably put it on for him. I made it in one day. I think it's slander, and I'm offended. Do you have any, uh, anybody who has appeared in any documentaries that you look up to? Peter Waller! Let me tell you about Peter Waller. Peter Waller, back in my ninth grade history class, we watched this, uh, Engineering and Empire. It was a great movie. When did you decide you wanted to be a filmmaker? I didn't. I just kind of said, eh, I can analyze a movie, I just can't make a movie. Do you ever think that one day one of your films will win you an Oscar? No. No, but I hope I never see my films again in the future. Don't don't put this in the movie, actually. Deal no. I'm just saying everything. First, I would like to thank my family and my friends. We're gonna give uh, my friend Dan a thanks for uh, being a good guy. I'd like to thank you, Mike, for making this documentary. That's really good. I feel like this is gonna be the good documentary. I'd like to thank Harold and Joey and Kel and Lee and Bene and Austin. The bot. Actually, not Austin. Awesome isn't gonna thank you. Jack, Tim, Tim, he was in my writing at the Threshold class. Bless his soul. I'd like to thank Frank the Bank particularly because he is the master of juicing kids. He is my hero. Also, I'd like to thank Pat because he's in my video production class. He only borrowed two SD cards and I was able to play Zelda because of that in here. If you guys want to learn how to play Zelda in your video production class, talk to me. I'll teach you. Actually, don't talk to me because Dilo will probably yell at you.